Welcome to this short video tutorial for SlideRunner. SlideRunner is an open source microscopy annotation tool. That means that it's free to use and the complete source code is available online. That means also that you are invited to contribute to its development by writing code, sending bug reports, etc. It is an annotation tool meant for microscopy images that stores all annotation data into a single database in the popular SQLite format. So within this database you will have multiple annotations for each file and each annotation itself can have multiple labels by multiple experts. But now let's get started. This is the main user interface. I will open a microscopy whole site image now. And there it is. We can browse through the image by setting the magnification or by just clicking into the overview image. Now, let us start with a new project. We need to first create a database for that. Although you can skip this step, it is sensible to add a name for the first annotator. So we know later who created which annotations. Whenever opening a new database and slide combination, like now, we will be asked if we want to add the current slide to the database, which is what we want. Finally, and as a last step, we are invited to add an initial class label. If at any point in time it is desired to add a new label, we can just right click here and add a new class. Now we're set up to start the annotation process. Let us start off with the spot annotation. This tool can be used for single coordinates or objects of similar diameter, like cells. Next up, rectangular annotation. This is a simple way to annotate the outline of an object and is used in many computer vision tasks. Circles. This is the right tool to use if you want to annotate round objects of varying sizes, like in cytology. Whoops, I think this one was wrong. Right click and remove. Well, this looks much better now. And finally, the polygon annotation. And that's the end of my short introduction. If you like the project, please give us a star on GitHub. And if you use it in research, please cite our paper. Thanks.